Hey guys, it's Hart, and today I'm going to be reacting to the 2021 Girl of the Year. I literally have seen nothing about her or heard anything. I don't go on AGIG really anymore, so I got an email and that's how I found out. I literally forgot that there was going to be a new Girl of the Year. So I'm going to react to her right now and I'm really excited. So her name's Kira Bailey. At first glance, she's pretty um and people are probably gonna get mad at me for saying this but again not a doll of color so um obviously there's nothing wrong with her being a non doll of color but we've always i mean for a while the ag community has been saying like there's such underrepresentation. so but that aside she is a very pretty and actually reminds me of a custom doll that i made like a few years ago she had the Josefina mold and I eye swapped her so she had these green eyes and she had blonde hair that I curled so this really reminds me of that her outfit's cute at first glance obviously she looks like a hiker like a very outdoorsy kind of girl so again nothing really that new and she kind of her her vibe kind of reminds me of Leah so that's I mean let's read about it Kira is thrilled when she gets to spend a month at her Aunt Bailey's Wildlife Sanctuary in Australia, helping care for koalas, wombats, and kangaroos. She's always loved caring for animals, but it's not all cuddles and cute joeys. When the baby wombats escape and there's a predator on the loose, it's up to Kira and her new friend Alexis to attempt a midnight rescue in the Australian bush. Wow, so she's obviously um, taking her stories taking place in Australia, which is really, really cool. I don't think that's been done before. Okay. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of indifferent about her. I haven't been super impressed with pretty much any of the girl of the years. I actually, except for Joss, I really did like Joss. So, um, ultimate collection, $260. Seems um, somewhat fair. She she has a big tent set up. That's $225, so she has a big piece. Um, I'm pretty sure almost like every girl of the year had one except for Gabriella. Um, exam table casual outfit i really like that actually that's really cute camping outfit she really reminds me of julie too okay she's cool doesn't seem like honestly super developed as a character or a doll i'm just kind of surprised that this is what they settled on like like they haven't done this kind of girl before that loves animals and has blonde hair long blonde hair you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, okay, we've seen it before. But I do like the Josefina mold and the green eye combination. I think that's super pretty. So let's take a look. I want to read more about her. I feel like I am I need to understand her character more. So this says, why Kira matters. She's well known at her local animal shelter and serves as a foster parent for kittens, even though she's only 10. Kira's thrilled to leave Michigan behind to spend part of her summer helping animals in Australia. There, she and her mom stay with her great aunts, Mammy and Melanette, who run the Bailey Family Wildlife Sanctuary and Vet Clinic. And she faces challenges from dealing with her friendship to family health scares and taking responsibility for her mistakes. I think American Girl always does a great job of in implementing lessons for little younger girls to learn further than just having like a material object of an American Girl doll, but also being able to learn through the stories and everything. Um, personally, I didn't get into dolls until I was a little bit older, so I never really got a Girl of the Year doll and like read her stories and everything. It was more like I was collecting the doll, so I never personally got super into the stories and stuff, but I think it's really great for the next generation to be learning through these books and everything so i think that's really cool i hope that they do something fun like they did with joss like her stop motion film i think that really was so cool and something new and it's clear that american girl has initiative through her uh, through their dolls to make changes and teach lessons so that's cool so this is her friend alexis that was mentioned in her little biography and it looks kind of like jess or just like you number 30 i want to say i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah, I really like this and I want to look at her her tent and all of her accessories and everything. I think that would be cool. This is a cool story in general, but I feel like it's kind of been done before. And I feel like the thing is American Girl takes a lot of our ideas. Like they take a lot of things we say and for example, or even things that we do, like making custom dolls and then they take it so that they can make a profit off of it. I feel like when our opinions, we give them to them freely and we want them to use them, that's when they don't use them. Like we've been giving them ideas for unique Girl of the Year characters, even if they're not dolls of color, just characters with a more unique storyline and they never really seem to take our like advice on that aspect. But Maybe that's just me. All right, so let's look at her her tent. This is seems to be like her big piece. Like 
like this is the equivalent of grace's bakery except a lot smaller uh so this looks like her tent and it looks pretty big at first I, when i looked at it i didn't think it was that big but now that seeing it next to her seems to be pretty big so she's got a lot of cute little accessories here a little camera with polaroids and this sink i saw this in like when i was scrolling down this is so cute i love this kind of bowl sink and then all the little accessories toothpaste and everything and then lots of koalas so let's see okay wow yeah this is cool this is cool i just personally like when i used to play with dolls i never had huge intricate setups so i i can't really like speak on, on behalf of that but I think it would be fun I don't know if little girls would enjoy it a lot or get a lot of use out of it for how much it, you're paying for it. it's very, pretty expensive there's an animal exam table which is really cool um her meat outfit I never really went in depth on it I think it's kind of like all over the place but I guess it kind of goes with her story you know just being like a naturey girl and you know helping animals and stuff she obviously is gonna wear more practical clothing than be like this really nice fashionista so I think it's fine um, I want to look at her casual outfit. I actually think this is so cute. I love the skirt part of it. A lot of American Girls outfits don't really, like, match. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot going on here. And, like, the headband definitely kind of does not go with this. I guess at first glance, it's not too bad. But, like, her meat outfit, for example, does not really go. But I actually really like this shirt. It's, like, a little graphic t-shirt. This vest is cute. But I think my favorite part would be the skirt and the shoes. She's really pretty, like, don't get me wrong, it's just, it, she just kind of looks like you could get her as a truly me. You know, like, Joss was different because she had a different face mold, she had hearing aids, she was just different in general. Gabriella literally was a truly me, Luciana had her purple hair, like, I feel like this is just kind of meh, you know what I mean? But she's really cool, and I also like that you can donate to actually help Australia's wildlife, um, I think that's really cool, and then of course we have animals that you can buy the kangaroo and joey and the koala of course and her pajamas and books so honestly my thoughts overall she's cool but it's nothing really new like we've seen this before i think i've seen this film before and i really i don't think i liked the ending and <laughs> overall i like kira she's pretty she's a cool girl but nothing super innovative or exciting so yeah i mean comment below what you guys think if the comments are still on hopefully that they don't get turned off but i'll try to keep turning them on and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye